We live. We live. We leave it. What is this going to roll? I just clicked on the name. Is this initiative? Okay, my bad. All right, you can ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's... I've been the weirdest since of deja vu. I was like, I just opened the sheet. What the heck? <laughs> that will be considered for later. For something. Oh, great. <laughs> Don't worry about yeah. it. We never roll initiative for slur anyway. It takes all mine, so who cares? Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, we're rolling initiative? Okay, let me roll. Oh, no. <laughs> Should we just have a train of just rolling initiative? I mean, you could. You are going to be heading into a fight. <laughs> and your tokens are all right there. I, I forgot to hit the thing and then hit the thing. Let me try that again. Hit the thing and then hit the thing. I see Kaya's rolling for a boar. Interesting, that. Damn, that was an 18 wasted. It sure was. Oh, it's mm. fine. Don't worry, I'll consider this for initiative later. You are, after all, going to be heading into a battle, like I said. Yeah, might as well get away now. But I do need that for the future. Are we actually rolling this? Okay, shit. My bad. <laughs> I mean, What's you know what? You it started to be a joke. it. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, I got the distinct impression who might be going first. Oh, Jesus. I never wanted this. <laughs> I never asked for this. Yes, you did. You kind of did. Doesn't it You're feel the good? Shit. You're the tank. You you always want to go first. I mean, <laughs> set us up, shield boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah. I need to clear off the battle map. <laughs> Boop. Uh, yeah. Pocket turtle. I don't think this is going to be the uh, order y'all are going to be marching in with, but uh, before we properly get started, I'm going to bring you to the battle map so you can arrange yourselves. Wait, what happened? We didn't do a recap. Uh, no, this is just uh, pre-game stuff we're doing. I figured get this out of the way now before we do the recap and all that jazz. I'll bring you back to the landing page. I just want to have y'all in the proper marching order you're going to be using. Interesting. I also say, why is my health not 50, man? I thought, no, it's not Tuesday. Ah, yeah, that would do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yelling. We're, we got a long rest after the last thing, so if you need to heal anything. Okay. It looks like I'm already healed, though, so... All right. One was always up front somewhere. Literally nothing happened last time. Oh, Draco, you're still doing the thing with the, the turtle? What, I told you about it? Yeah. That could work, theoretically. I do like that. Since they are able to squeeze into any space like an inch, it's just mm -hmm. in the shell of the stone turtle. Wait, are you rolling that it's still in there, or is it hollow? Wouldn't you like to know? Whoa. I mean, it disappears after an hour. Theoretically. I see. Do we just have a fire elemental grenade then? <laughs> Maybe. You don't know. Hmm. Well, correction. Alu has the grenade. It's true. Oh, what? no. <laughs> yeah, again. You have, the tur you have the turtle. If Alu knows. Hot potato. <laughs> as far as Alu knows, it's just a weird stone turtle they happen to find in the prison. 
True, I don't think any of the characters would know, would they? Nope. <laughs> that is most definitely above game knowledge. Okay, that's what I was looking for. I feel like based on what I remember from last session above game, I don't think there's an elemental coming back in this. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, who knows? There definitely might be an elemental coming back on this, this fight. But the elemental that was in the turtle would have been called off. I have more than one elemental. <laughs> so I'm saying that the turtle is, doesn't have the elemental in it anymore. Because the spell would have been called off. Okay. So it's just a random turtle stone husk. Well, Jacob like said theoretically, so we don't know. Yep. <sighs> okay. Maybe it's empty. Maybe it's not. Only time will tell. I mean, unless it never breaks open, in which case you're fine. found a stone turtle. It is warm to the touch. Hmm. Certainly would it's like be. Dark, it's like a Dark Souls item. <laughs> yes, actually. You'll be cool to use. What about you? Oh. You'll be fine to use. Actually, the thought just occurred to me. Where should I put Andrea? Air quotes. Would they be up front? Fifteen. I, I think Dealer. so. Thirteen. I mean, yeah. they've been a pretty good scout. Yeah. Alright, so I think I have your marching order set. I'll have to do some setup of my own, but I think it's time for us to finally move to the screen proper. And, uh, I believe someone volunteered as tribute for, uh, the recap this evening. Yes. Okay. Easiest recap ever. <laughs> we stayed in the- we stayed in the barracks for a while, while the Fire Elemental did their thing. After a bit, we got bored and decided to go downstairs. After that, we, I don't know, there was, apparently people turned into animals, like, I think Andros turned into a frog, there were goatlings that were, like, other animals, I don't know. Then the Bedusas looked at each other, turned each other into stone, we kicked the shit out, whatever the hell her name was. Oh, it doesn't matter, she's dead now, so one of the sisters is dead, but... Now we, well, we also went and freed Steros' father from the prison, so one of our missions is complete. Me and Rebecca had a falling out, but it's okay, I'm fine. And this is where I put my love, if I have any. It's, it's fine, I'm used to it. Anyway. Now we are moving on to another part of the island where we have to fight the, we'll find the third sister and hopefully defeat her. All right, take your point of inspiration. Okay, so I've got all the information I need and now we can freely move ourselves back to the island of Themis. I do need to roll some initiative when the time arises, but I'm going to rule after the prison. You all go back to the Ultros to drop off Bront so he can have a warm reunion with his son. 
and get the rowboat ready to properly make your way over to the sacred temple. And of course, get some rest. Is there anything you wanted to do while you were resting, or is it just going to be rest and then hop straight into going toward the temple? I got nothing. I think. Yeah, I don't have anything. Can I retroactively try to harvest at least one vial from the bestless saliva? I'll allow it. Roll survival. Right. I give. I will give you a bark inspiration for this too. Nine. What's your bark inspiration? <laughs> Uh, my bark inspiration is a... What is it at this level? Uh, an eight. Six. Do, 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 do. Yep, it's a D8. Okay. So a 16. Okay, that's significantly better. So, unfortunately, these basilisks have been dead for a while now. But with a little ingenuity, you do manage to get some saliva out of it. But you have to get your hands a little dirty in the process. By, like, not only shoving the vial, but your whole hand in there, hoping to scoop up anything of value at this point. But you do manage to get it. Two, I shoved two Amazons into, like, a wall. I don't think I care at this point. <laughs> Probably not, no. You got a lot going no, on, I'm... huh? Yeah, Harry's in a weird headspace. Just silent the entire time. Okay. Alright, so we have one cure of petrification. There we go, that'll work. And just for the sake of ease, I put this little rowboat on the map to show your progress. <laughs> I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Flippy floppies. Rock the boat, don't tip it over. No one knows that one? No, I don't. I do. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Oh, in our school, we had a version of it where it's like, uh, rock the boat, don't tip it over, rock the boat, don't tip it over, and I'm just gonna make up a name. Hey, Jessica! Hey, what? Can you rock the boat? No way. Can you rock the boat? Okay. She slides, she slides, she get up a horse and rides, she wants you and you to rock the boat too yeah no i never heard that <laughs> <laughs> this is the stuff we did in a playground back in like grade school mm. interesting <laughs> dang i can't remember anything from grade school if i'm being real that's yeah, like right. the one thing it's that was, like glued into my head so hard i don't know why Here's what I remember from all of my time in schooling. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. That's it. Fair. Mm -hmm. That is the only Very school valid. thing I remember. And cell walls are made of cellulose. I don't know why specifically those two things, but they are the two things that stuck. I mean, the only thing that stuck in my mind from elementary school is the dare song. What's the dare song? What? <laughs> Here we go. You do drugs. You, you do drugs, don't you? I mean, I know of Dare as a program, and I like loosely remember it existing. There, but... there was a song. I am not going to sing it because I have people around me. Aww. <laughs> no Dare sing along tonight, Chad. I'm sorry. 
Well, it's because we don't have the dare lag with us right now. That's true. Yeah, yeah where's Andros? <laughs> Only Andros <laughs> could do it. So that does bring up a good point. I forgot to mention that, huh? Uh, Than uh, might not be able to make it tonight. Uh, he might hop in later, but Andrus is going to be on autopilot. Are you sure you can research on his character sheet? Yep, I've got. It'll be fun. I've got the character sheet, and I, for the most part, understand how Andros work. Key point. Ponch. Ponch. <coughs> Sunbolt. <laughs> 360 no scope Neji ability. <laughs> Hell yeah. Key points. All the key points. Yeah. Burn them immediately. Don't, don't forget uh, Solar Flare. It's true. Solar flare. He does also have Solar Flare. Pocket Sun. Hell Pocket, yeah. sun. Pocket Sun! Um, I will say, if any of you are curious enough to, while the boat is moving, you can look on the land to see if you notice any animals or anything. I want to do Fuck that. It. Perception. Oof. 20 on the other side. Damn. I don't care. <laughs> I'm way too sad for this shit. Oh, that's a shame because, Tarlet, you do met, uh, manage to notice on the uh, coast a bunch of weird, giant, leathery creatures with a horn on its face wandering by. It's grazing occasionally, going up to the edge to take a sip of water from a watering hole nearby. Obviously, it's not drinking straight from the ocean. That would be stupid. <laughs> I, I I point towards the creature and look at Ailu. Cousins? Uh, that is racist. And it looks <laughs> like this. <laughs> I don't believe you've done this. Tarla, what the actual shit? <laughs> Tarla that commits a micro aggression. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't shove you into the water right now, Tarla. You um, your favorite aunt? Question mark. <laughs> it's a deadpan look. <laughs> you don't you don't think your solution is good enough? Kaya slowly starts pushing Tarla to the side of the boat. <laughs> now just continue rowing. So, <clears throat> if you paid much attention, Kaya, you would have the rhino as a potential wild shape for him. All right, you got yeah, giraffe out there, and right? rhino. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, they they did probably did see it because of what Tarla said. Yeah, that was what my ruling was since you brought it up. Uh, it is a challenge rating, too. I don't know if you get that yet with wild shape. My max is one. Okay, so it's a little above your pay grade. Although polymorph, I find a way. Oh, yeah. The polymorph, or there's a way to increase my wild shape of powers, but. Meanwhile, giraffe, on the other hand, I believe is like lower, and you did get giraffe from earlier. Yeah, giraffe is one yeah. fourth. Okay, so I can't do that. I can only do one half. One half and it cannot fly. Well, no, you can do that can because split. one half is more than one fourth. Well, I'm just I'm just saying what my my current parameters for wild shape right now. Ah, up to one half and they so cannot fly. You said rhinos was a challenge rating two. Yes. I can make one. Neat. You can turn someone into Conjure a rhino. Animal. Or conjure a rhino. That is a very good point. Totally, not... totally gonna give Andros PTSD. Yeah. 
Uh, let me in player's journal. Let me give you access to because I realized they never gave you access to giraffe. Even though that is a form you could take. There we go. You should, in theory, have the ability to find giraffe in there. Alright, but... So how do you want to go about going toward the secret temple? Or sacred temple, excuse me. Because... Secret tunnel. First... Let me reduce all my time clocks here. Oops. Oh yeah, that's still a thing. Yep. Y'all have I stuff that's track. being made. You're on 38 days until the Oath of Peace runs out. Soon. Soon I will have my hoverboard. And you know what? I might as well read those off too. The hoverboard is 33 days out. The moon sickle is 13 days. Yeah. yeah, I got it. I'm gonna get a moon sickle. Is that a popsicle, but with the moon? No. Maybe. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you like the taste of metal and silver. I like my version better. <laughs> see where is the intel i'm looking for here ba -ba, i don't think it's there where are you probably in here okay eastern bay Atlanta is there Brown. a way we could try to stealth with the on the canoe or amazon to guard the temple ba -ba -ba. ah here we go <clears throat> so moxena because she did tell you her name before informs you that the main entrance of the temple is on a small rocky outcrop of the island above the high tide line. There are two secret entrances that are underwater that could be used by someone who's willing to confront a hydra that's guarding those entrances. Nope. No. We yeah. just dealt with the hydra. Well, you don't want to go for round two with the hydra? No. no, this one's in the water so it can breathe. It's true. It's very true. We're at, we would be at a disadvantage in the water because we can't just cheese it by dropping a fire monster on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> so accurate, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I that. Doubt I could do the air elemental or water one. The secret entrance would be, you know, better for stealth, but more dangerous. Absolutely. Whereas yeah, the front okay. entrance is, you can go through, but they are going to see all of you coming in. Or well, they won't, might not we, see you right away. Hmm. How many of us are there? Well, let's see. Let's, let me go to the battle map. Because that's where we have everyone laid out. So obviously Kira and Moxena yeah. are with you because Moxena wants to be part of this oh. raid. There's all of you, which makes five. There's the two baby dragons, which they don't take up too much space. Okay, so two, level three. Actually, I also need to see how much space the uh, rowboats take up, now that I think about it. Or oh, how many people are invisible. <laughs> yeah, or right, I can... There are two people being invisible, so he, uh... I can... I Make mean, it... when, we feel it's a... when we feel it's appropriate, I can pass without a trace. Let's see, rowboat. Okay, eight people can mm -hmm. fit on a rowboat, so you should be fine. Five, six, seven. Technically, you have nine people, but, like, the baby dragons can hang out on people's shoulders, so I'm not gonna... Make it, you have to use two different rowboats because that would be silly. <laughs> and the baby dragons can fly. Yeah. Hold on, everyone. We got to get the baby dragons their own rowboat. <laughs> Too no, many. They, they need their own car seats. It's true. <laughs> Too many dragons. 
Hey, Alec, does Solaire have a swim speed? Because Sunny has a burrow speed. Oh. Uh, it's like, do you have anything. Does Solar have anything weird like that? Because they have walking and flying. I mean, he is a silver I'll dragon. I have a speed and fly. I don't see anything else on it. Yeah, I know I the. Burrow. The one with hmm. the swim speed is the amethyst uh, dragon. I thought one of the metallics also had like... a swim speed. I mean, I know the brass one has the burrow speed, like you said, Sunny. Would have burrow speed. Yeah, the amethyst one. Because last time I did this, I had a amethyst dragon, hmm. and that one had a swim speed and it could breathe in water. Hmm. Gold can swim. The copper ones have climb, which doesn't make sense because you know they could fly. <laughs> I mean, if they really wanted to, they could climb a mountain. I guess <laughs> that'd be the only thing they could climb, but. I mean, sure. If they or climb a horde of treasure, a really big mountain of oh, treasure, know, I guess. No, no. You know, sometimes you don't want to fly. Sometimes you want to climb. I guess. <laughs> sometimes your wings are tired, and you feel like, you know what? I'm gonna give my wings a little rest. I've been flying for hours, and I'd like to just climb. You know. It's not wing way. day, oh. okay? Yeah. yeah. It's like day. I just flew in and boy, are my arms tired. Exactly. I wonder with that logic, if Artemis trains enough, can he get a climb speed? <laughs> it's a copper dragonborn. That makes sense to me. I don't think so. I mean, I suppose anything you could train to, it would just take a lot of time and effort. And, like, Trying do to you, you want to spend the time? No. Moving on. Alright. So, I find it strange how the module has this set out. So this is mostly going to be off of my dome, because there isn't really, there is an official entry for the Sacred Temple, but it doesn't tell me what the inside looks like. It tells me that the ceilings are 10 feet high, other unless otherwise noted. And that mm. all the rooms of hall and hallways have a single brazier hanging from the ceiling with continual flame spell that provides light. But I don't have a map for this sacred temple. At all. Welcome to the dome zone. So I don't know if they expect me to just come up with an entire dungeon off the top of my dome. So I'm gonna be real with you. That's not happening. <laughs> you know, let me just pull an entire dungeon out of my ass. It's fine. I got this. Yeah, it's fine. So let's use um, what what is it? The D and D version instead of D and D version. Ah. Uh, where you you just create a as if it's a one shot. Hmm. <laughs> Well, you know what I'm talking about, right? D... What? No, is there a program for this? Uh, there's... It's like a free version that's like online somewhere. It's a PDF. Hold up. Now I need to find it again. D... Just grab like a modular dungeon and like use like a counter tables or something? I mean, I suppose I could do something like that, Probably. but... I've got a much. Mod is really bad about just like, oh, fear the mind. It's like, fuck you. Isn't that is the one that you're talking about? Just gives you like the description of the uh of an area. So like. Uh no, it, it's like an it's meant to be like specifically for one shots. I know there's like an AI program someone was working on where it like makes a dungeon like drag and drop style. Shoot, I. Okay, this is gonna bother me. I'm going to, I know I have a paper version on my desk. Be right back. Okay. So, you know what, while we wait for that, I just realized oh, that last session, or a while back, my last time streaming, there were two pun redeems that I never did. So, oh. I, I think yelling was uh, one of them, fortunately. They're not going to be here to hear this, but... <clears throat> Two goldfish are in a tank. One says to the other, 
Do you know how to drive this thing? <laughs> Why can you never find elephants when they hide in the trees? Because they're so good at it. That wasn't really a pun, but it is in the dad jokes book, so... That one was just a bad joke. <laughs> I mean, in the mm. weirdest sense of deja vu. Did I read those? I thought it was... I honestly thought it was going to be because they have long trunks. Hmm. You know what? I might have read that one already. Because my bookmark I had in here fell out, and I didn't know where I left off, so I grabbed a random page. Because I remember another pun that I've already read that I saw on a later page. So it might let's... have been those two in the same order. It might have been on a different stream, though. I don't think I read these two. I used to have a job collecting leaves. I was raking it in. Huh? And what happens if a, pro a frog parks illegally? They get towed. Ah, uh, there it is. I should have just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> yeah. It's great. That's fine. Great, we got yeah. two extra puns. Went well. <clears throat> Chat, don't you do it. I mean, I suppose if anyone in chat wanted to, there is a 500 uh. point redeem where you could get more puns. <coughs> Dare you. <coughs> if you wanted to hear something like that. I mean, I wouldn't interrupt the gameplay of the game, but we're waiting. But oh, hey, look at that. How dare you? How dare you? I coughed. <clears throat> Why do crabs never give to charity? Well, because they're shellfish creatures. Uh. Why couldn't you hear the pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Well, because the pee is silent. Classic. <laughs> oh, look. A third one. Why, Than? Why do bees hum? Because they don't know the words. Hey. Why, Than? <laughs> Why? I mean, it was the perfect opportunity. How could you blame him? You get in here to suffer with us. <laughs> we use that joke at work a lot because electricity a lot of times hums. And one of my smart-ass engineer like, co-workers was like, You know why they hum? Because they don't know the words. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Yeah. And everyone thinks like, oh yeah, smart guy? Like, tell me, please. Like, you know. It's like, oh, it doesn't know the words. Oh, okay. Great. Is that, like, his favorite joke, too? <laughs> oh, he exactly. Uses? Exactly. Yep. Yep. Every time. Man, my stream manager on my phone is acting really weird. It says I'm offline, but it also says I've been streaming for at least 33 minutes. So I don't know what to believe. You are online. I am watching your stream, so. It's true. Yeah, same here. Maybe if I leave and come back in, it'll fix it. Okay, yep, that did it. Completely leaving Twitch and going back. What the ah! fuck was that? What was that? What? There was like weird static. Uh, that could be. Uh, you might have either heard. Uh,. Smokey sneezing, or it's something else completely? Okay, it's it was probably thing. that. It's somebody's mic something. Because, like, did you, like uh, Alex said, did it you was like a... Mic or something? It sounded like someone was blowing into the mic at the very least, so it was probably the sneezing thing, yeah. Hey, Than, hey. feel free to hop in if you can. And yelling you missed what? it. Uh, the other day when uh, you redeemed a pun I didn't read when I read some puns while you were gone. Ah. Uh, you I felt read guilty. more puns while I was AFK? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it seemed like the smart <laughs> yeah. thing to do. Fair. I couldn't find the thing immediately and I'm like, I'm not wasting more time for this. No worries. So I'm back. 
we're going to theater of the mind this or what were you yeah, we working on basically we're going to theater of the mind you guys you walk through the temple it looks somewhat similar to uh, the prison obviously it's different not being a prison this is a temple so it's a bit more artistically crafted than the prison but it's very similar architecture it goes from like a cave into an actual structure inside the cave and weirdly enough it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people in here you get the feeling that maybe they've been alerted to your presence after the whole mm. prison debacle, not being able to hear from there, or perhaps someone went to check when you weren't realizing, or they've seen your boat. Somehow they know you're here. And eventually you find yourselves in this big altar room, where standing at the altar with five of her personal guards is Queen Thalesia. Thessilia, excuse me. Ah, I see my sister has brought her whelps. And she looks to... Let me grab her token, because I realized I didn't grab her token. Oopsie do. Where is she? Dar Darine. Ah, and it seems the past has come back to be part of this. Darreen, I told your mother I wouldn't kill you until you come of age, but here you are, of age. So my oath no longer applies. Are you here to surrender, or is this going to get messy? Uh, looks around. Is she talking to us? Yes. What? What is this surrender word you talked about? Unfortunate. Violence it is then. And if Let me add her into initiative as well as her troops. And we're going to change up the music a little here. And Tal is going to make sure every time she looks in the direction of the Medusa to either look at the feet or the breasts. Never the eyes. Mm. Look, I'm not here to judge your taste, but okay. Are you into our feet or uh Why is Uh huh. Roll twenty is acting. I don't have time for your stupidness. What? I don't have time for your stupidness right now. Damn it, roll twenty is acting. I appreciate really... your phrasing there, friend. Mm. I need to figure out how to fix this, because every time I click on a token and try to drag it forward, it's causing the entire screen to scroll, and I don't know why it's doing this. It's going to make it really hard to actually do this combat. Hmm. Are you on the right layer? Yeah, I'm on the token layer. And I can grab hmm. the tokens, it's just making the entire screen move instead of the token when I drag try to drag and drop it weird try to refresh see if that fixes okay right. also let's get the amazon ladies in i'll do just of a course. regular old refresh well fuck well our terry should not go in first oh yeah okay let's see if that worked Okay, yeah, now it's working. That was weird. Probably because of a new update. Yeah, must be. Alright, now let's take everybody to the battle map. Alright. 
but now that I know Finn is here, I'm going to have to make sure I don't mess up while playing as <laughs> Andros. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit more. There we go. Now everyone can see everyone. It's weird that the turn order isn't showing up for chat, though. Hmm. So this counts yeah. seven. Yeah, I'm only seeing the two, but I'm just going to refresh. Yeah, maybe if I refresh chat's vision it'll give everybody their stuff it popped up for a moment but then it changed back Descend. Hey. let's see yeah same when i refreshed it hmm. like showed all of them and then it hmm maybe because we rolled initiative on the opening map hmm Probably. yeah so you just manually put us back in or Probably. I could do that. Add a turn. Add a turn. Oops. Add a turn. Add a turn. Add a turn. Oh, yeah, and I never rolled the NPCs in. And now there's no music playing for chat. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Curse, you roll 20? We love technical difficulties here. Okay. Love it. So let's see here. Kaya was 21. 21. Alu was 16. Tarla, Tarla, Tarla. 16. Also 16. Okay, so we'll have to figure out which one of you has the higher decks in that instance. I do. Probably Tarla. Or Tavis. Tarla has a negative two. All right then. And yeah, my initiative's negative two. This was thirteen. Okay, so now that's all fixed. I just have to get rid of the old ones. Junk you, junk you. You go away. You go away. You go away. And now we resort it all in descending order. Perfect. Okay, now they're set up, but still there's a music <laughs> issue going on. Uh, I had that too for a second, so I went to the settings. I made the master volume go all the way up and back to where I had it, and the music started playing. Jukebox. Settings. Audio, video. Master volume. I mean, I have that max already, but let's bring it down and then back up that doesn't seem to do anything i mean all i can really do is keep refreshing or exit and come back in i apologize for the technical difficulties everybody it happens if you have parents you're doing it wrong i just read that oh my god oh my god <laughs> it's the way of the orphan lord is to you yeah, I'm already Amazing. doing it wrong then. I mean, my mom's still around. Unfortunately, that means I can't do the orphan fist properly. I mean, who's fisting orphans? Wait. And this is where I put my parents. If, if I, I had, had them. <laughs> okay, if I leave and come back in, will that fix everything? I hope so. Okay, there we go. Now the music is finally playing. I just needed to leave and come back in. Oh, time just being click today. Yeah, I guess so. Actually, I go back to she. There we go. And let's zoom out so everybody can see everybody. All right. So first up would be the Amazon Warriors. Amazon Warriors! Hell yeah, do it. Oh, uh, well that's a shame. I have to open all the sheets again because I refreshed. Damn it. Uh -huh. okay. so we'll start with Amazon Warriors. I'll grab Queen Thessalia. I like the new measure tool. Yeah. You can do like AOE stuff. Yeah, you can also do squares, circles, cones. Yeah, I can do my uh, 
kind of cold and all that kind of shit, the uh, breath weapon and all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, so Look you're using the new toolbar. Gotcha. I have not yeah. upgraded to new toolbar yet. It's badass. Wait, how do you do that? Uh, the... Under the, like, measure, there should be, like, a line you can drop down. It could be, like, square, circle, cone. Well, you also need to upgrade your uh, actual roll 20 to the new toolbar. At the very top of chat, I think they... Well, we've been for too long, but... Like, if you refresh, it'll give you an option of try the new toolbar in chat. <laughs> Good stuff. But anyway, I digress. Let's start this combat. Uh, Amazons have 40 feet of movement. And that would put her, like, right here. And she is going to yeet a javelin. Actually, she probably could have done that from a distance, but this is probably better, honestly. First, rage. Second, javelin. That is a natural 20. Ow. Who the fuck do they crit? One, two, three, four. Who'd you hit? Uh, that would be Arctavius or Aurora, since you still have or your makeup on. Uh -huh. Oh, great. Wonderful. I um, do? Wait, what? Unless you took it off when you rested, did you want to no longer be in makeup? Yeah, I don't see any need to be in makeup, right, folks? Yeah, I think at this point. Kind of a moot point. It's only if you want to feel bonita. I'm I'm good. I'll be back to my glorious self. Thanks. Alu's right. just Alu. <laughs> Is okay, Alu so vibing that, uh, with the makeup? 13 image? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Great. Love it. Okay. Oh, hello. Please. Oh, my numb locks off. That was weird. Oh, and she has another javelin throw. Why so that's 20 for 8 damage. Because she meets your armor class. Yup. Are, are you talking about the uh, toolbar shit? Ouch. Yep. And. Ooh. Hmm? What? The health bar being all wonky. Oh, are the health bars Mine's actually wonky? No, no, no. It was after I upgraded it. They were like off tilted. So I had to refresh. Oh, weird. Alright, next one is going to rage and throw at Andros. But that's not going to hit even with the plus two she gets from her rage. And a 13 also isn't going to hit. Nope. Alright, so Amazon is Amazon Warrior number two. Two. And you're still technically in range. I don't fucking dare you. Whoop. That's not gonna hit. And that won't hit. Actually, wait. A uh, minute during the time she gains resistance to blah 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 blah. Also gains plus two to melee attacks. And attacks of opportunity. So that will not so yeah, that's not so gonna matter like anything. A yeah, so they get no bonus to throne. All right. Okay, so that's those three ladies, but we still got two more near the top here. Mm. And yeah, she's gonna mm. move over to here, and they're going to attack Doreen. With a javelin storm. That'll hit. And yep. I believe that will too. More damn javelins. So minus five. Minus nine. And now the other lady with her javelins. Uh, those did not. There it goes. An 18 and a natural 20. God damn. Doreen's taking a massive smack. And that would be... How dare. Minus 7. She's looking real rough. 
Kaya. Well, fuck it, let's get our Chalice Heal Aura up. Because these Amazons keep fucking critting. Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's do... Yep. And I'm casting Aura of Vitality, so unfortunately, Artavius, you're getting three. Thank you. And then... Chalice healing. Doreen gets five. Let's gotta keep rolling ones. Alright, who's getting that? Uh, Doreen. Alright. Plus five. Yep, and just stay in my bubble and you guys get healed. Alright. Let's put that in chat so people can see it. And we're good. Ranging from 30 feet till the spell ends, the aura moves with you, centered on you. You can use a bonus action to cause one creature in the aura, including you, to regain 2d6. Me, Arctavius. Okay, so I think I'm going to try maybe a breath weapon so we got a lot of enemies in the field. That's fair. Um, So I will move, I guess, up. It's a... Um, it's a 15 foot cone, so and this new cool little measurement tool thing, which stopped popping out, question mark? There we go, there it is, okay, cool. So 15 foot cone. Okay, so I can get you these three from here. You have it set to here. 10 feet, there it goes, that's better. Yeah, all right, sweet. So I will do a breath weapon a dexterity saving throw. Eight plus your con plus your proficiency. So what's the number they gotta hit? Proficiency is three. Okay, so eight plus one, two, three. C. And plus your con mod. Uh, two. One, two. So that'd be a 13 they gotta beat. Yep. And they take oh. half, they take it. So that's success. That's a success. And that's a success. So it'll take half of whatever you so roll. It's a. I think it's 2d10. So it's two three, three, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, yep, at fifth level, 2d10. Yep, sweet. Uh, eight. So they take four each. Four acid. Minus four. Minus four. Okay. All right, and they, um, I'm going to try something because I think it'd be cool. So I'm going to do another breath weapon, but this one I'm going to do a iner innervating, innervating breath. So, oh. can you do two breath weapons? They are the attack action. You do have extra attack. I think we talked about last time that we, I did, because we, I did it. Like a couple sessions ago, because it counts as an attack. Right. Uh, it says you can replace one of your attack with a with a breath weapon. So I guess that would count. All right. Each creature in the code needs to make a con save or become incapacitated. All right. I'm assuming the same DC of 13. Let's see. The DC save so this breath is eight plus your con modifier plus your proficiency bonus. So yeah. So it's 13. Okay. So. Two of them fail. Two of them. Hell yeah. So that stops two of them. So let's yeah. see. What's good for incapacitated? Let's petrify. That's sleep. And that's taunt. What would be a good one for incapacitated? I got that at 5th level and have not had a chance to use it yet. <laughs> and boop. Alright, those two ladies are KOD. Sweet. Until my next turn. And... Uh, would you I like guess... To, would you like to flavor how it looks when you do the different breath weapons since this is a new thing? Yeah, so I guess like... So I know one was Acid Breath, which I guess is more of like a... Cloud-ish, I guess. Um, 
or like liquidy. Yeah. I'm say this is more like like an exhale and almost like a like a steam or like a like knockout gas, you know. Okay. Um, or they go in like a coughing fit and they're incapacitated for a round. <laughs> so you let out a nice <sighs> and this smoke comes out from your mouth and they're <coughs> And the one woman looks at her friends, just confused. <laughs> I mean, it smells bad, but it's not that horrible. The one, like, held her <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just managed to... <gasps> All right. And now it is... Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, I was going to think... Um, I don't know if I'm going to use Solaire right now, so I don't... Well, they're incapacitated. They should be able to get... I don't know. I'll leave Slayer where you, you could probably get into his thing and then leave. Yeah, he'll just get like the one opportunity, I guess. Or if he did one of the ones that's incapacitated. Okay, so if we do... Uh, yeah, they can't take actions or reactions, the incapacitated one. So he could like, just come in and 60. stab. 60. So if he goes to like here, well, he'd have to be like here. Mm. That's outside the range of the one that's not incapacitated. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, he'd be ten feet away, which is out of her blood circle. Sweet. All right, so he's gonna fly up and bite attack this one. All right, roll that chomper. Fourteen. All right, a fourteen is unfortunately not going to hit. Figures. Would it be with advantage since they incapacitated? Uh, no, incapacitated only keeps them from taking actions and reactions. Interesting. Okay. Okay, well then... So that was 30. He's at a fly speed of 60, so then he'll fly back to me. And... It's the same spot where he started. I'll be, like, right back to here. About hmm. that. All right. And that'll be done. Now it is the God. queen's turn. <laughs> Let me take a look at what she's got at her disposal. I take it no one is looking at her. As that would be, you no. know, not a good call. God, no. Nope. Let's see, does she want to take you out or Doreen out first? After what she said, she's probably going to focus on Doreen. Doesn't Doreen have a little, like, buddy with her? Oh, yeah, I forgot to grab her Stimfei. Whoops. Actually, I could probably just search up Stimfei. Stim. An extra body may help. Automaton, the Stim Fay. Oops. I should probably roll it into initiative because I never grabbed it. Boop. Boop. Let's see, where's the Stim Fay? 13. Okay. 14. I get the feeling that Andrus probably beats out the Stim Fae with dexterity. Call it a hunch. I mean, I'll still look just to be sure, but I'm like 90% certain he's more dexterous than the metal bird. Huh. They're dead even. So what is his actual dex score? Huh. They're dead even. All right. Then in that case, I will roll two d20s to figure out which one of them goes first. First one will be Andros, second one will be the Stimfei. Okay, Andros goes first, Stimfei goes second. Okay, and now, how did we do this again with the... Ah, that was how. So she'll go to like right here. And let's let loose some longbow shots. 14 is going to hit the Stimfei. So that's minus 9. And does it have poison immunity being a construct? Yes, it does. So the poison part of that is irrelevant. Uh, 
Well, that's a nine. That's not going to hit. And final shot will be to Doreen. And that's going to hit for... 13 damage, and Doreen is now officially downed. Unless someone heals her before she starts rolling the death saves. Uh, Tarla. Tarla will look in not directly at her in the direction of where the Medusa is. Mm. And she's going to cast Doo -doo -doo -doo. Conjure Elemental. Okay. Here's Rocky. And he can't be petrified. He's already Rock. <laughs> nice. And then Tyler is going to step uh, 10 to here and at this Amazon. Oh, but I just realized something. She only gets two longbow attacks, not three. Then never mind. Doreen is fine. Sorry about that. Continue. The the one that's in front of uh that's not incapacitated. Yep, this man. Bonus action. Chakram. An 18's gonna hit. Five damage. All right. And now, Rocky's turn. Rocky's going to smash. Didn't realize Medusa was his type. <laughs> 24 to hit. That'll hit. 17 bludgeoning. Second slam, 17. Uh, that one will also hit. 12 damage. And then minus 12. Alright. And, and that is Rocky's turn. Right. Next is Alu. Doreen looks oh very hurt in front of you. Just as a heads up, because she is literally right in front of you. This is what you get for not having your macros. <laughs> What? God damn it. <laughs> okay. Plus 13. And plus... Plus 9. Next yeah, time I will give you macros, okay? Okay. She looks very confused at you. You need to eat, child! <laughs> Alright. Next is the Lady of Coins. She's got 30 feet of movement. Oh, wait, right. Shoot, wrong button. 30. Oh. There we go. Now it's just the Medusa song. I just realized that was kind of off. Rocky is big and imposing, so she can't really get a clear shot. But she does have that bonus action dash, I believe. Sneak attack, special equipment. Oh, never mind. No, she doesn't. Well then, she's going to dash to try and get a clearer shot. There we go. And she's gonna just stop there glaring at her sister's shoulder. Now it is Andros's turn. Let's see. 
I think he's probably just gonna go for Sunbolt, standing where he is. Do, 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 do. He left a he left little message in the chat, just in case. Ah. Oh no, I know that he's keeping his eye closed against enemies like these, since he has the blind vi blind sight. Radiant Bolt. That will not hit. Radiant Bolt. That'll hit, though. So that is minus six. Would he spend the key point here to unload on her? I think so. Well, the 12 doesn't hit, but the 19 certainly does. All right. And I believe that would be Endros. Now it is our Stim Phase turn. Let's see what he wants to do. Could go with the Pinion Storm. That seems like a smart move. Doesn't even really have to move from its current position. Boop. Yep. Or it could do that. Mm, now let's go with the pinion storm. Well, that's neat. Did that not go? I could have swore I clicked it. There it goes. Must have just barely missed it or something. Hmm. A seven, however, isn't going to hit. It launches its metal feathers at the Amazon warrior over here, but they just barely managed to miss. Now... It is Doreen's turn. She's going to start with a rage. And she's going to rush forward. Actually, she also has javelins. Nah, I think she's going to rush forward. Into battle. You idiot. In a rage. You idiot. <laughs> hmm... Well, she wants to get to the queen. I'm thinking, would she be smart enough in her fit of rage to just stay back and launch javelins or to just run face first into these ladies? You wanted to roll a check for that? <laughs> sure. You know what? I'll do a high or low. Who wants to be the guesser? High. I rolled a 63. That is high. Right, so she's going to stay... Let's see, it's a 30-foot reach on the javelin. So she's in range. She doesn't even have to move. Yep. 12. 17. That'll hit. Oh, wait. Uh, what is the rage? It's plus two. Yeah, plus two, and that's it. Okay. Actually, honestly, it's probably okay for her to run forward now that I think about it. Because not only is she raging that reduces her damage, she also has the ability to disengage on a bonus action. Oh, well. She threw her javelins. Alright, so now we have Rocky over here, the big threat. So I think these two ladies are going to try and maneuver around the rock man. There we go. Now they're flanking him. And they're going to start trying to unload. Short sword. If it'll ever go through. There it goes. So let's see. That is a 17 and a natural 20. Yeah. So, so, seven, which would be cut in half because they're not magical weapons. So, that would be four, and then eight plus four. One, two, three, four. So, that'd be twelve cut in half for six damage. And then the next one Miss. misses. Miss. 
Okay, those would be 15s. Uh, these ladies are incapacitated until the start of Artavius' turn. This lady is going to move on forward and try to strike Artavius with a short sword. What? Well, let's see. That's plus nope. two. So that would actually oh, hit. Plus two? Yeah, Damn so yep. that's 24. Six damage. Okay. But that's an 11, so that one isn't going to hit. Hell yeah. And as her bonus action, she also has the same ability Doreen does. She's going to have to disengage and step back. How, How dare. All right. And that will be the Amazon. So now it is Kaya's turn. Okay. Let me measure something. I'm trying to see how many I can get in a line. Yeah, I think... I can catch these three in a if I have a line, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, Drinker, you know what I'm going to do? What? No. I walk forward, I paw out the st my staff, cock it like the fucking sniper rifle it is, and just blast them. All right. So they, they all need to have a DC 17 deck save. All right. And that's a failure. That's a success. And... That is a failure. Okay. Say the important one failed. They all get blasted with 26 lightning damage. Ooh. Hell yeah. Alright, so... That one is absolutely dead. Uh, this one, she takes half because she succeeded. Yeah, I just grazed her back. So she's only taking 13 damage. And the queen is taking that full 26. And uh, do you have any bonus actions you'd like to spend? Yep, I have free heal. I have a free healing. So fuck it. So Artavius get eight. Thank you. And you know what? It's free. Probably should have done it the other way, but I guess this I don't know, Stimpe gets ten. Alright. <laughs> nice. It chirps appreciatively. Alright, it only has twenty one. And 21 then I get Yep, and then I just yeah, I'm gonna stand right here. Okay. Artavius, it's your move. And uh, All right. she is no longer incapacitated. Yep. <clears throat> okay. I will push forward and attack this one. No. no. Fuck. I I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> I'm a melee character. Um It'll be fine. Yeah. Five, ten. Alright, anyway, let's roll some attacks. Thir At least it wasn't the one. Yeah, but the 13 will not hit. Of course. Garbage. Oh my god! Well. Hmm. Let's see, <sighs> that's 16 on the fumble chart. And uh, you get a bit overzealous, and you cut yourself pretty deep. You are now bleeding 20% of your max HP per round until someone does a medicine check or heals you with a healing spell to seal your wound. So let's calculate up what that would be for you. Your health is 72. Minus 20%. So 15. You're losing 15 health now in every round until you get healed. Jesus Christ. Well, let's throw a uh, my bonus attack on there and see if we can get any damage at all this round. 
No. 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 Harley yells. Harley yells out to Artavius. Step back, son. Uh, uh. Okay. And I will pull back. All right. And the one Amazon warrior will take a opportunity attack against you. Miss. A 15 is not going to hit. Do you want Solaire to do anything, or is he good where he's sitting? He's good. Um, Charlie, do you want me to move back one more? No, you're good. Okay. Then I will stay where I'm at. Honestly, I could have attacked from here, but I anyway, I'll be... All right, so do I take the 15 now, or like at, at yeah. other, other turns? You take the 15 okay, now, and then every subsequent turn before you get healed from it. Great. Good. So... The queen now has a giant rock golem in front of her. I know that's not what it is, but still. Close oh, enough. This is rocky. An 18 will hit huh. for two piercing yeah. damage. Oh, wait, no, it's one with snake hair and then two with the short sword. My bad. Damn, that's a natural 20. Oh, well. Well, Gotta love it. man, tonight would be a perfect opportunity for natural the emotes for natural one, natural twenty. What the hell? Getting all shapes this and is, sizes. Uh, not great. Okay, that's that's pretty funny. So two, uh, or no, she got four. She's She's a bit uh, surprised at the sudden rock creature in front of her, and she goes into a bit of a panic attack. For two rounds, she is frightened and has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. Which, conveniently enough, she gets one more attack, so this is a disadvantage. I so that's another one. natural one! For four again. So it's just going to be the same thing, but I'll increase the... Okay, for six rounds, she is frightened. That token on her. Yep. There's frightened. And there's her six rounds. Now, let's grab conditions, because I want to check. Let's see. Disadvantage on ability text attack rolls. While well, sources feel is in sight. Cannot willingly move closer, but it doesn't say she has to run away. And she's already used all her attacks, so she can't disengage. So that's going to be it for the queen. Tarla. Ten right here. Ten feet around. I am casting. Oop. At third level. Shatter. Ooh. Okay, so... Or in damage. That would be those three Amazon warriors. Yep, and then you can DC 14, well, DC 16 can take us, right? Uh, the harp, yeah. And they all failed! I would know just, uh, Kai, what comes after the lightning? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Looks back and at then. you. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> this one. Bonus action. Chakram. Seriously, it's a natural 1 in 20 party, and oh my god. So I, I rolled a natural worse. 20. You critically hit yourself. You swing your chakra oh. with a little too much gusto and you nail yourself in the shoulder. So roll the damage. So seven. that's seven plus an additional d6 plus two. Because it is a crit on yourself. d6 plus two. So that's so three. three. So, so that's ten. Yeah. You embed it in there, and you eventually <clears throat> yank it out. Fuck shit. 
And then Rocky is gonna beat the queen again. Slam, 24 or 22. That'll hit. 7, 18. We'll also hit. For 12. Woo! That's my turn. All right, Alu, what do? You... That is a good question. So, what you would Arcti see? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Arc Arctavius is just. The reason why Arctavius stabbed himself is because he lost his mind a little from not having enough macros today. <laughs> what? You need to eat! Eat, 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 eat! <laughs> Didn't get enough vitamin F. Fish. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I assure you, I am not. I am by no means famished. I, I, I assure you. But he is bleeding out. <laughs> yeah, I, yes, I am bleeding profusely. <laughs> Assistance would be greatly appreciated. I will assist you by <laughs> creating food and water. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> right over here is anyone's playing the drinking game. Take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ari. God. I already have the bottle of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a little too big, but that should be about right. <laughs> There we go. There, I put it right in front of you, okay? Hell yeah. Okay. Right. Lady of Coins is going to unload in her sister. Whoa, what? Phrasing. Okay, so that is eight. And I don't think they are immune to poison. They sure aren't. So she's going to take all that damage. I said what she gets sneak attack as well. She sure does. Do, do, do. That's the wrong person. Uh, lady coins. There we go. Oh, I actually have to roll it. That's right. So that's 46s. For another 14. And she gets another. Uh, another, not swing, I guess stab. That's a miss. Oh wait, no, it's only two shots, right? Okay. Still, the one she did hit did a massive chunk of damage. Uh, that was the Medusa Nethelheim coins. Let's they have the same modifiers. I think they do. Hang on. But that's a long bow. Ah, okay. Right. No, hers would be different, so I have to undo the damage I already did. Well, I guess we can keep the sneak attack, but let's... No, the, the short bow was right, but the two long bows should just roll. Ah, okay. So, yeah, so that was second correct. Should be that. So the second is that hit for 11. And oh, sneak attack. 9... Uh, I think she only gets one per. Stick. Yeah, you can only sneak attack once a turn. Oh. Otherwise, rogues would be just the worst. Yeah, absolutely monstrously broken. Alright, so that's it for her. Now it is Andros' turn. And let's see, who does he want to aim at? There's these ladies over here. There's that lady over there. She's almost down. I think he's going to try and round her out. 
Do, do, mm. do. Radiant Sunbolt. Giggity. And another one. The second one doesn't hit, but the first one does. Four. And what the hell, let's spend another key point. Go. Okay. Will that do it? Yes, it will. Wump. Turns attention to the other Amazon. For the final Radiant Bolt. And that will miss. Mm. All right. The Stimfei. That has a pretty decent fly speed. What is its fly speed? 80? Oh, yeah. So let's give it 10 feet in the air. And then it still has a lot of movement. Ooh. Not where I wanted it. There we go. And let's try to get that pinion storm. 16 will hit. For five. Queen is looking exceptionally rough. Probably blow on her and finish her off. It's Doreen's turn. Can she... Yes, she can. She's gonna blow the queen? Yes. Phrasing. Phrasing. Uh, right. Okay, earlier you said the Lady of Coins was gonna unload into her sister. I did. Yeah. I did say uh, that. Yeah. Yep. They're getting double teamed. Yep. There's, there's so many tags that are inappropriate that would go into this, but, you know, we're just gonna... Maybe I should have put that tag on. Damn. Well, Doreen comes in, swings her short sword, and decapitates the queen. Her head rolls off. And he wants to do anything with that later, they could. But there's a battle going on right now. So she has another attack, but she's already used her movement to go here, so that'll be it for her. Does she have another javelin? Let's see, she threw two already, right? I'll give her one more. I think she could realistically have three javelins on her. And that'll hit. For eight. Okay, now it is the Amazon's turn. The one right by Rocky is going to try and beat him down. To the best of her abilities, that's three damage. And that is four damage. So seven damage altogether. Yep. Next, uh, this Amazon lady. Gonna run up to Arctavius. How oh dare. And she is going to try and beat him down. Who do you think you are? That'll miss. miss. Don't beat my friend. And that'll miss. miss. And she will once again disengage and step back. Especially Wait, because she's very... Whoop. Damn it. There we go. To there. She slips on a banana pill. Oh wait, actually that would have been too much movement, now that I realize. So, she was... here. And then, that would be as far as she could go out. Just barely outside of the food storm. Is that difficult terrain, question mark? It would be, yes. So, let's see. <laughs> that would be see. 20 feet to move forward. 20 feet, okay. and then... I think she could only really just move to here. Because mm -hmm. that'd be full 30 feet. Uh, you uh -huh. can stop measuring now. 
All right, next Amazon warrior will try to swing. Oh wait, I realized something that I completely forgot about. If you recall, the Amazon warriors here have their enraged state when their life mates die. All of these Amazon warriors have their rage state if the queen dies. So... Oh. Let's put... Well, that... I don't know what have hit Artabias anyway. It's true. But I need to... Re now I remember it is active. Hmm. So that still wouldn't hit Artavius that 9. Or that... Or that 13 or 12, so... Yeah. Oh, no, wait, hold on. One, two. So plus two? One, two. Okay. You still got one more. Ah, okay, I thought so. So it would be plus two, but also the life mate rage, which I think gives them advantage, if I'm remembering correctly. Let me go back mm. into my stuff. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where are you? Isle of Themis. Two locations here. Here, I think it is, or is it? It's in the Amazons, I think. Boop. Centuries ago. Da da da. Amazon life mates. Enter a berserk state where she gains advantage on all melee attacks. Yep. So now they all have advantage on their melee attacks. And the plus two from their initial rage. So let's give this last short sword in. So that'll be a 15, which does not hit. Still miss. And she will disengage. She only had to move 10 feet, so that would be 20 feet, 30 feet. Whoop. There we go. Kaya. Okay, let me see my movement. You know what? Let's do this bonus action Artavius I'm going to heal you up with a level 3 healing word ooh sexy so get 9 hell yeah and you're not bleeding anymore yes thank you very much uh, thank right. you friend and I'm just going to run up and I'm going to slap this one in the head with my staff hell yeah okay so roll that quarter staff hit a 10 will not hit. We have garbage rolls. Uh, you know what? It's free. I'm going to use one of my wheel dice. Mm. So will a 15 hit? Just barely not. Oh. You know what? See Ed. Ed. Yeah, I'm just getting my turn here, just trying to slap her with my stick. Oh my. Artavius. Mm. Okay. Um, I could attack from here, but I'm going to move to here and then try to finish this one off if I can hit. Let's find out. Let's find out. That looks like a hit. That'll 23. do. Okay. Um, and... Is she, like, pretty close? Yeah, she's, uh, nearing the end of her... She's definitely on her last legs. I didn't know if I wanted to, like, waste a... a smite on this. Yeah, I had the feeling that's what you were going for. I mean, I guess if you just want to confirm it, in case you roll low. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, alright, I'm gonna throw a smite, just a level level 1 smite on it. Okay. Uh, so let's, let's just make sure, let's just confirm the kill, shall we? So, so what's that, 14? that does it, but I'm going to tell you, you did not have to smite. Your piercing damage alone would have done it. Hell yeah. Good. Hey, we had to know. We had to be sure. It's true. You never know. All right. So then mark that off my slots. Okay, sweet. And then I'm going to use my, other, my next attack on this one. All right. Let's see how that goes. 16. That just barely doesn't hit. Damn it. Unfortunate. You know my reaction came back on... No, I was going to say I already used my reaction. Yeah, you did. With the low. Real low. Dang yeah. it. I wanted to help you out, man. Damn it. So close. 
Um, okay, then I'll just do my uh, bonus. See if we can get a hit. Nat 20, do. let's go. Okay, and because I can, I'm going to upcast a level 2 Divine Smite on that Nat 20, and let's go ham. <laughs> There's some dice. Woof! Alright, so that's 26 Great. from the Radiant alone. Whoops. God, yes. Minus 26. And then minus additional 6. She is done for. Hell yeah. I was like the back of this <laughs> spear, too. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. I love Smite. <laughs> you just wield your polearm like a baseball bat covered in radiant <laughs> energy and just crack her on the back of the head. Op. <laughs> be, be gone, thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Anything for Solaire or going to no, just... No, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that. <laughs> Tarla... What kind of armor do they have on? Uh, let me take a look here. Uh, studded leather. Well, can't commit war crimes today. Yeah, not today. And that's a concentration spell, Tarla. Also true. Mm. Gotta remember those concentrations, man. So, Tyler is going to walk uh, 10, 20, 25, 30 to here, and to this one. Tyler is just repeatedly going to say, You fail your queen, you should die. And. Casting at third level, this burnt whisper. Okay, that is a wisdom that succeeds. So she takes half. So it'd be ten. So half of eleven. Oh, eleven. Yeah, that's right. Eleven. So that would be six. And then bonus to action chakra. A th yeah, thir that, a thirteen hits. Yeah, thirteen will not hit. Then Rocky's gonna turn towards her and backhand. Sixteen? That just barely doesn't hit. He swings his arm right, and she and ducks again. under. But with the 22, while she's still crouched down, Rocky goes for a hammer fist and manages to clonk her right on the head. And that's my turn. All right. Alu! Okay. So... Is it just the one Amazon warrior left? Yeah, she's the only one left standing, fighting her heart out. You know what would be a great idea? Do tell. Oh, Why don't I do fast friends on her and use her to convince the other Rebecca to come back? Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you're all sisters, right? Go find Amazon Rebecca and just tell her to reconsider. So she's the only one what... alive. You really want this shit to I knew to what sell. you were doing in game. She would be upset at you. Wow. Alu really wants this ship to sail. I mean, I'm not, stopping, I'm not stopping you. 
<laughs> Let, let's do it fourth level just to be on the safe side. <laughs> okay, so it's a wisdom saving throw. I'm going to give her advantage on this because you're fighting her and she's very angry. But that's still a failure. Yes. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> you see. No. She is filled with anger, but she's calming down, lowering her weapons. And <laughs> she looks at Alu. <sighs> <sighs> hey, friend. She says through gritted teeth. How Hello. can I help you? Can you find Rebecca for us? <laughs> he just said that out loud. Alu, what the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to save your relationship here. Alu, I'm gonna tell you right now. She would... Even I am, would be extremely angry at this, because you're forcing another person. The whole reason she left was because she was charmed and tricked. If, she, if they find out that, you know, another person was tricked to try to convince them it's not gonna work out. They'll even they'll hate it even more. Well, let's make sure that she doesn't find out. Okay, okay. Alu, <laughs> you gotta let this go. You're gonna make it even more painful. I, I'm okay with just leaving them alone. The Amazon warrior, if Rocky doesn't stop her as she walks away, is going to yeah, go look for Rocky, Rebecca. Ro Rocky's going to hit her. Alright. No, don't hit her! That'll hit. And that takes her out. Dang it! It's out of cry and agony as Rocky turns her into pudding. Or you can't force people to like you. But you two were meant to be. Because you charmed them beforehand and convinced them. Sure, we talked it out, but the char charming magics, it could be good sometimes, but at other times it just hurts people. Look, Alu, I'm good with charming magic. Trust me, I don't use it all the time. I just use my words. It's easier for me. Would I have been able to use words to charm? What the heck? Let me... Go with my negative one charisma, see how far that will go. <laughs> and what are you trying to do here with that charisma? Just to show how great I am at charming people. Okay, so this is above game. Yeah. Alright. I'm... It's okay, I'll just... If it means anything to you, because it seems like you want to... Can I just pause this for a moment? I'm trying to hold something back. They just needed time. But we have more important business to take care of. And our tab is to heal in another seven. Oh, appreciate it, friend. Thank you. And you're correct on that one. Carla will look at the lady coins and... Daring, and tell them to come here.
Uh, can you two come here? Hello. Hello. Oh. Uh, asking to come. Where is here? To her. Where is your token? Mm-hmm. Oh. Right there. There. Yeah. These two. Drago? Hmm? Yes? Can you bring Darren, sorry, Darian and the Lady of Coins uh, to Tarla? Oh, okay. I didn't realize they were also being included in this. I was looking no, through no, some stuff. No, no, it was she was talking to. Okay. Huh? Then they're gonna do their own thing over here with uh, no, no, no. Cilia. It, it's, it's those two that she wants over here. Oh, okay. So I thought it was Alu and Kira you wanted over. My mm -hmm. bad. So I know you two want to know who will take control of the Amazon. So, I have a better idea to figure that out. And she pulls out the game of 20 square. Winner gets to be the queen, and the other one will accept it. It's also the turn for you, too. They look at each other. Obviously not directly in the eyes, because petrification, but... That seems fair. Because no one can cheat, and it's a fair way to do it. All right. So, while they're getting the game set up to play to see who will rule the fate of the Amazons, you do have some time to uh, go through Thessilia's gear. She has a golden gem-studded holy symbol of Letheria, which is worth 1,000 gold, and she was wearing a platinum helmet which is worth 800 gold, which reminds me, uh, Leia was wearing the same, so you would have two of these platinum helmets on you at this time. And I will put that in general. We're just going to type them into the party notes. Yep. Party notes. Okay. That's where we're tracking all the loot. Yeah. So let me go to the treasures. Golden gemstone, holy symbol, worth. I'm also gonna put the head into a bag. What? All right. Platinum helmets. Uh, here it is. Two. Okay. Platinum helmets. Worth. Eight hundred. Uh, do I corrupt my Google search history to look up how much does a head weigh? I think it's about a pound? It's either a pound no. or five pounds. I think it's five pounds. I'm gonna make it seven because of the snake hair. Yeah. Hey, couldn't Octavius use that for the shield? He could. But we'll just hold on to it in case whenever he would want to use it. Okay, I stand corrected and I see where I got the five pounds from. It's five kilograms or 11 pounds. So, yeah, that sounds more right. I thought I remember. Well, you looked it up instead of me, so. Yeah. I'll just, you know, fuck it, 15 pounds. I, I'm strong. Yeah. And I mean, to be fair, I typed in how much does a human, and the first thing was head. So, I mean, I might be on a list, but so are several other people, apparently. Or, nice. Um, whatever search engine is listening actively to the voice yeah. since you have mic enabled in a call somewhere I mean I don't have mic enabled for google searches but maybe anywho so yeah, Tavis, you have head now hell yeah oh I love getting head phrasing huh? mm. what we'll, save it. we'll save it for whenever you need to whenever you need the head sweet I'll give you head so, mm. <laughs> you know, the joke is right there, Draco. It is, but I feel like 
I probably should have put the content classification on for, you know, sexual themes. Nah, it's not that bad. Are just a few fine? innuendos, it's no. fine. I'm just worried because of the fact that, like, Twitch gives you notifications and stuff, and apparently part of the guidelines, uh, the content classification guidelines are now in effect. And I never label my streams, and I feel like I'm probably doing it wrong. Yeah. And I'm worried. You should probably label it for this stream specifically. Just yeah. language for this stream, mostly. I'll do significant profanity or vulgarity and sexual themes, which is uh, content that focuses on sex sexualized physical attributes and activities, sexual topics, or experiences. See, I don't think we're... I don't think innuendos like, include on that, to be honest with you. From my perspective. You probably spent I... more time explaining the explaining the issue than the actual innuendo. Mm. Yeah, but like the jokes, I don't think are are like it's not talking about sex or explaining like we're gonna go bang. Like I don't know. That's I haven't true. put turned on on my streams, and I make jokes all the time. But who knows? All right, I'll just stick with significant profanity, your vulgarity. Yeah, that that for sure, because we do say fuck. So okay, <laughs> <laughs> we do fuck around. What can we I say? We do. We do use liberal usage of the fun word. Get a little case yeah, of the fuck around, it. you know what I mean? Mm. We may find out. We have found out several times. It's true. Yeah, we do find, fuck around and find out. You're not wrong. All right, so let's get this game started. Although, before we do that, I think this would probably be a good time to take a quick break, fill, refill waters, oh, yeah. drink legs, all that jazz. Hell yeah. Stretch your water. Nice. Oh, well, we got so, a pun. I'll do that before I go do my stuff. <clears throat> Might as well make two. Eh, why not? You know, I named my dogs Rolex and Timex. They're my watchdogs. Huh. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One is really heavy, while the other one is a little lighter. Hmm. Oh man, this pun would next pun would be great for the Tuesday game. I will save that one. All right, but now I will go take care of my stuff. Whoever's left here, entertain chat for a little bit. Wait. Hello, chat. Thank you for stopping by. Did everyone leave at the same time? <laughs> Apparently. Oof. Hell yeah. This will probably be a pretty easy session for someone to recap if they try to do it next time. 
Maybe I'll do this one next time. That'd be great. Exactly. He's got like two lines. Yeah. Jared, if you want, just heal yourself up to full. I have this aura up for like a minute, so I'll just passively keep you up. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that'd be great. You know, I guess are we like, are we done with combat right now, I guess? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we should be. Sweet. Then I'll just, uh, sure. I'll absolutely go up to full health. Don't mind if I do. Haha. <laughs> Free. Free real estate. Exactly. Shit, get even tank. stronger. It'll get even stronger once I get my sickle. Nice. Should I do the same with my health? Sure. Yeah, you sound too confident with that. I have my chalice and my aura. I'm I'm the heal bot. Hell yeah. Turned. Ooh. Hello. Welcome back. And they we were just talking back. about you. Ah, we were. Nice. Wow, that's a throwback. Hell yeah. But uh, I do see we have another pun. So let's go with this one. You know, my doctor friend has a picture of a country estate next to his bed. You can tell he has a good bedside manner. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody back? Seems like it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Yep. Also, it took me a lot of restraint to not immediately say, um, saying the, who do you think you are when, uh, Andrew said, who do you think you are? It, it, in the game earlier. Uh, <laughs> ah, dang, it looks like an ad's coming up soon. You know what? I'm going to cancel that with another ad. Since we are technically what? in our break. Gasp. I know. I'm doing the... Who do you think you are? <laughs> I'm doing those uh, special strats. Get rid of ads with ads. Going more... around leaving scars. Yeah. Who are you, Bahamut? <laughs> <laughs> About ads into ads. No, no, no. If I was Bahamut, I would have like seven canaries. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. I still believe that this world's Bahamut is Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> what? Why? No. You don't. Know, you don't know that old, that old like one-off joke. I don't think so. 
I hear Alec was making a joke about Jeff Goldblum. And I'm like, and I just made that one off joke. Oh. It's not. I don't remember like, this at all. You're making fun of his. You're making fun of his laugh, and then you share oh, a music oh, video oh. laugh. Yeah. Yeah. It was that song. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's right. I can dig it. While we're still technically in an ad, we got like a minute and fifty seconds before we start up again. Have you guys seen the uh, the Kickstarter for Obojima? Which one is that? So Obojima is a Kickstarter for a new D and D setting that's heavily inspired by Studio Ghibli, and I think a little bit Ooh. by Legend of Zelda. I sponsored it, and they're like way past their goal. Like their goal was ten thousand. They're at like nine hundred thousand right now. If they, if they hit a million, they're gonna make like a movie poster style thing, and people that get the hardcover book and above. We'll get that movie poster. I want that movie poster, damn it. Mm. And it's like, obviously I'm not sponsored. Because if I was sponsored, I'd have a link to provide all you with. I don't have that at my disposal right now at this moment. <laughs> but I would appreciate it if you put money into that so I could get that cool movie poster. And also it's like really fun because like, like I said, it's inspired clearly by Studio Ghibli. A lot of the art mm. and enemies there's like this thing called a sheep dragon which if you, imagine if you will a large serpent creature that has wool and eats grass like a sheep and breathes air bullets in self-defense and that's what a sheep dragon is it also has the personality so, of a dog so wulu if wulu was also a dragon yes pretty much that I, yes I and also that. not a normal type hmm and that's the whole, another thing I really like is, so, this is a modernish setting, because, like, old technology exists on the island of Obajima that are vending machines. And wizards thought, I could put magical items in those vending machines and make money this way. And so they did. But the problem arises, like, if you leave magical items in a vending machine, people will try to steal from it. So they made guardians to guard their vending machines, right? And the mm -hmm. guardians will differ. Sometimes it's a human, sometimes it's a spirit, sometimes it's an awakened cat. So imagine, if you will, someone's trying to steal from a vending machine. A cat is sitting on top of it. And as they're trying to break in, the cat just goes, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> um, my guy is Luna. Pretty much. Because the awakened cats are thinking, it has all sorts of different familiars and spells, and yes. Yeah. Luna okay, from Sailor Moon. Have, mm -hmm. If you ever run that setting, I know exactly what character I'm making. Just by your one bit alone. Oh? Battlesmith Artificer. But my steel defender is a vending machine. Oh my god, <laughs> that would be great. But, uh... There's that, there's that one isekai anime where it's like I got reborn as a vending machine. <laughs> god. Oh my god. But, Hell yeah. Another thing I really like about Obajima, it has a bunch of different subclasses and races. We haven't seen a lot of the races yet, but my favorite subclass in there is uh, College of Masks Bard, which is, you know, Link from Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask? That. You have masks with powers that do things. And, like, at the <laughs> higher levels, you can give other people your masks so they have those abilities. One of my favorite was the old man that just allows you to cast Identify at will. And another spell, but the more important thing is identify at will, without a spell Ooh. slot or anything. Yeah, that's nice. Then there's also, like, the stone golem, which does, like, I think a d8 of bludgeoning damage. This is just off the top of my head what I remember, of course. And the other really... And you remember a lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm really excited about this setting. I don't know if you could tell. What? Right. No... But I bet you're gonna run that too. Probably. You release it. That's like probably something I'm gonna run. I don't know if it's like an event, like a whole campaign like this, or if it's just a setting where you have to make your own adventure with it. But it does have three adventures that are 30 pages in there. So at least there's those three adventures, if nothing else, and then I could try to manage a campaign around it. 
Another thing I really love is it has a new potion crafting system, which is so much better than D&D's crafting system for potions. How it works is, like, there's all sorts of different ingredients you can just find around the island, right? And mm -hmm. each one has, like, three different stats. Uh, whimsy, uh, utility, and combat. And whatever number's the highest is the number that you're making a potion for. You take three items, add them all up, their stats, and whatever number is highest is the potion you're making. So, like, let's say you got some berries, a hedge dragon egg, and uh, something, some kind of beetle. You add those scores up, and let's say utility is the number that's highest, and that's 19. You made potion number 19. And you can just grab materials while you're traveling around. And I feel like this is a much better system than, okay, you spend 25 gold every day while you're making a potion, and you gotta spend a day on it. <laughs> and I the, think I haven't been making more potions, Draco. Mm. And then the other cool thing, well, I guess not the cool thing, but like all potions have a base, so it's kind of like making a soup where you have like a broth that's your base. And the base in the campaign is called Muck. M-U-K, like the Pokemon. And if I remember correctly, it's like candle wax, a sprinkling of flower petals, and some other stuff mixed together to make the base of all potions. But now that I'm done gushing about Obajima, we should probably get back to things, huh? <laughs> Possibly. Well, this anyone is anyone here here in chat or watches back the VOD. You have something to look forward to because Draco's excited about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for it to come out. All right. So let's get started into this game of 20 squares. Let me just look up the rules for 20 squares one more time so I know what rolls have to be made. Oh, I got it up right now. So I can tell you as it goes. Okay. So, what is round one? Performance. Okay, so they don't have performance, so we'll just go flat charisma. And... Damn, Doreen... Oh, wait, hold on. They don't have advantage either of them, so Doreen takes the first round. Okay, let's... Second one. Insight. Okay. And that would be... Nope, she's not trained, so let's just do a flat roll. And Lady of Coins is trained. And she takes the second round. Next round, history. All right. Whoops. And that would be int. Oh, just barely, the Lady of Coins pulls that one. Next, Deception. Okay, and once again, Charisma. Lady of Coins is trained in Deception. And that's a natural one. Uh, it's looking l rough for Darreen. Looks like she might have to give up her birthright. Next is Intimidation. Okay. Well, Doreen is trained in Intimidation. And just Charisma. But not when she rolls so poorly. Well, the victor is clear. It is the Lady of Coins. How many rounds was there? You have to win four rounds. Yeah, and she's already got it. So, yep, the Lady of Coins is officially the ruler. Doreen looks absolutely distraught. I can't believe this. I. I was freed only to lose my birthright again. By the same. And let's take a look to see. You may not have your birthright of. of ruling. But. at least you're free to choose whatever path you want to. I suppose you're right. I'm I'm going to get out of here to think 
about what to do with my life from this point on. I don't want to see my former sisters. And she leaves before eventually some more Amazons come in to uh, wonder what has happened. And it is clear that obviously Moxena as well as all of you have taken out the former leaders. Since my sisters have fallen, we have freed you from their tyranny, as well as the tyranny of Lutheria. Things will be different, but I will take my place at the throne and make sure everyone is treated fairly. And uh, the Amazons are a little anxious, but to the strongest goes uh, the spoils, and they will absolutely not uh, rise up against her. There's no reason to. She has made the claim. They have a leader again. Let me look here, because... Huh. I remember there's somewhere in here that mentions a Lady of Coins giving you guys a reward for your services, but I'm not finding it. Where is it? Is it a level up? It is not a level up. Trapped. Perhaps next time. We should probably level grind before we do the next big story beat. <laughs> Hmm. Just maybe. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I believe you all already got the level up from exploring islands in the Cerulean Gulf, correct? I believe... Yeah, we explored already... three islands, yes. as you said. So let me find my milestone chart again. Yeah, so... Here's the thing. Technically, this is a spoiler, but the next level up you get is for exploring islands in the Forgotten Seas. And to do that, you need the gear that leads you into the Forgotten Seas. Dang it. Hmm. Looks like we're going to yonder anyway. Mm-hmm. If you can figure out where it could possibly be. Golly gee. <laughs> I know I had like so a. I we, oh, sorry. Go ahead. So, so we went out to all the islands that everybody else. So all, all, we know all the main stuff is already right. Correct. And then we did. We we agreed to go to the one tower I wanted to go to next was the guy again. Ah. Why did you want to go to uh, the Gigan constellation? <laughs> Any She's particular? Curious. Ah. Because she did find that, well, she knows that they got wiped out, so she's kind of wondering if anything was left there from the Dragon Lords. Probably during fights. Hmm. Perhaps? If I can just find it. Gosh, where are we? And I guess, uh, I guess above game, does anyone else need anything for their epic path stuff. Huh? I do. Oh, Unless I the island of yonder. Mm. I need I need the island of yonder as well. Mm. I'm good with that. That's fun. Alright. Then it seems the next step is off to the island of yonder. Since I can't find it, I'm gonna say she gifts you 800 gold for your assistance. I could have swore there was somewhere where it mentions that Muxena gives you something for this, but I can't find it, and I'm pretty sure it was at least 800 gold at minimum. Of course, wasn't you're free. The... Hmm? Wasn't that what she told us at the, uh, at the statue? That's right. 
and you're also free to keep all the stuff you looted from her sister. She doesn't particularly care about it. <laughs> the uh, platinum helmets and the sending holy stone. symbol of Luthera, as well as the sending stone. And let me check some one last thing, because there might have been something else I forgot. Let's see. Queen's War Party. A secret plot. Blah, 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 blah. Ah! There is something else here. I found it, finally. She also rewards each hero with 500 gold in precious gemstones. Each? Each, yes. Each of you get 500 gold worth of precious gems. And we did give you the plus one shield from Bront. Okay, yeah, nope, that's everything. I have given you everything in the notes. So now... We move ourselves back to the world of Thylea. And let me change the music up. Um, Bront and Steros um, go up to you while you're on the ship. You're obviously going to the Isle of Yonder. Or you're trying to. You're going... I'm sorry, I goofed up there. You're going to... You want to go to the Isle of Yonder. You're checking out the Geigen constellation. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway. Uh, they do come up to you and say, if at all possible, before you head off, uh, if you could drop them off at the Mithril Mines. Because... One, Asteros wants to help with his end of the bargain for all of you, and that's probably the best place for him to start working on, one, the mechanical beast he's uh, offered to make you, and two, uh, start on trying to make the gear to allow you to use the compass to get outside the lands of Thylea, which is probably going to take significantly longer. But it's up to you if you want to follow the Geigen constellation first or if you want to drop them off first. Because both will take time. Because it's two days per travel, right? Yep, with mm -hmm. your uh, method of shortening time down. Let's go to... So it's it would still be four days to get to no matter what order we do. Yeah. What do you guys think? Uh. If it makes more sense, why don't we just let them go? Yeah, I think that's... That's true. Because they'll need more time to fix the stuff anyway. Plus, them being there also means that Vulcan has extra hands to help him speed things up. Oh, send them to the mines. And uh, for the mechanical creature, it took me a while to find it. And you can't make all of these steros, but I'm going to put it in the general chat. The creatures, you can make one of the creatures from this list. Again, some of them he can. I have to look up exactly what he's going to be able to craft for all of you. Give me a hot second here to find where he is. Eight, nine. Theros request. Uh, 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 willing help him, he'll build a mechanical animal of their choice. Da, da, 
uh, contraptions. Here we go. So he can make uh, one of those. He can make the owl or the dog, which is the serpentine owl in that list and the onyx dog. Uh, they will, however, break after six uses, and they'll need to be repaired using Tinker's tools. So you could just bring them back to him when they get to that point. Oh, I'm sorry, there's more here. He can make a Golden Lion, the Ivory Goat of Traveling, the Serpentine Owl, the Silver Raven, or the Onyx Dog. And it is your choice what he is going to start making for you. When he does get there, and I'll just put that list in there as well. What's the thing of traveling? What does that do? Uh, the ivory goat of travel. Ivory goats. Uh, these ivory statues of goats are always created in sets of three. Each goat looks unique and functions differently from the others. The goat of traveling can become a large goat with the same statistics as a riding horse. It has 24 charges, and each hour or portion thereof it spends in beast form Char costs one charge. While it has charges, you can use it as often as you wish. When it runs out of charges, it reverts to a figurine and can't be used until seven days have passed when it regains all its charges. So it's basically you get a giant goat that you can use as a mount. Roughly large side, like a horse. So for Alu, that wouldn't really work, I don't think. Well, technically Alu is still a medium creature, so it would theoretically work. How the definition of medium creature really needs to be updated. It does, yeah. A centaur is also a medium creature. So theoretically speaking, rules is written, it could ride a horse even though that's a sin against nature. <laughs> we, all the centaurs we fought were large. It's true. In this, they are large. In D&D rules is written, in just the module, they are medium. That would have made things very awkward if someone was a centaur player. Yeah. Yeah, it would. Although I think the race in this module makes them large, but I would have to look through to be 100% sure on that. It doesn't. Uh, but, uh, if I land centaur... <coughs> Trait size. Uh, yep. Nope, they're medium. Which is weird, but hey, whatever. All right, so we'll take down two days, bringing us to 36 days left for the oath. And we're getting there on your items. So, for traveling to the Mithril Mine, you need to set the compass to travel back to Mitros. And you can take the longship up the rivers to the mines, since there is an area to park the ship over there, so you don't have to worry about having to walk over land and spend more time that way. And that won't take any time at all in the boat. So, let's... That's pretty neat. Move you all over, and I need to roll to see if you encounter anything on your way. So that was for day one, and that's day two. And ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's find there you are, my random sea encounters. I think it'll be on a free day. I want to try something. Oh, yeah. The first day you have uh, freedom to do whatever. Okay. I'm going to want to ask Bercy's... I'm going to want to talk to Bercy for some advice. Oh, of course. Uh, easy enough. Let's move ourselves over to the upper decks of the Ultros. It occurred to me I did not zoom out for chat. My bad, chat. <laughs> Have you all up at the... You guys are over there. I basically saved from last time, so let me find Versailles' token. And I 
put the spell in chat for what I want to try. Oh, sure. I guess if anyone else wants to gather around, because as my powers have been growing, I've been kind of feeling like I can alter fate a little bit. It's hard to explain, but like, sometimes I can help people, but other times I can not help people, and I feel confident that I can actually perceive it to the future, kinda. Interesting. But that Vitalis, the fragrant guy, actually had this ability too, and I think, you know, maybe I could try it as well. Uh, as well as you, Percy. Of course. But would you like some pointers in divining? Yes. So, I find it helps to try and enter a meditative state. Just try to block out everything around you and let the fates take your mind where it needs to go. And they will give you exactly what you need. They are bound, of course, to do so. Now, you're a half-elf, so you don't trance like the elves do, but it's similar to that sensation if you've ever tried to enter a meditative state. So the Kaya will just kind of sit down, like lace across, crisscross applesauce. And she starts to meditate. Her, she act, her starry form kind of triggers naturally, but this time it's like a big or like big kind of like aura around her, and everyone on the outside kind of just sees like different stars and constellations just like lighting up. Right now. Also, point of uh, order here. Part of the material components is a special offering appropriate to your religion, air quotes, worth at least 25 GP. We can deduct the GP now just to make it easy, but what is your offering that you're using to power this? I'm going to use some of those precious gemstones. Okay. That should work. So, you have the gems at your feet while you're meditating and your starry forms shoot out from your tattoos. The gems glow. And what question would you like answered? What can we expect from, vis from heading towards the Gigan constellation? Well, I guess what, on that island rather, more specifically. Okay, so single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity. That would absolutely count. Hmm. I'm, get, I'm asking for a plot nugget about the Gigan Island. Okay. Let's see. Short phrase, a cryptic rhyme, or an omen. In your mind's eye, you see the starry constellation of the Gigan above the river. It shifts from night and day as you move toward what seems like an island full of ruins. And in regards to your question about what you might encounter there, you see the creatures that the constellation mirrors, Gigans, wandering through the ruins of what was once a great city of theirs. But that's not all you see. You also notice men in cerulean armor, one of whom has a silver dragon that you recognize, Gaius. And then your vision comes back to you. All right, and as my vision comes back, all the constellations just like stop, except for the Gigan one that's still just floating there for like an extra second, then it disappears. And I'll relay what I've learned to the party. Carl's face goes pale. What 
What does this mean? It means we're gonna have one hell of a challenge coming up. All these Gigans and the Cerulean people and, and Gaius, they're all worshippers of Sidon. And they'll stop at nothing to... We'll see us dead. Fuck Sidon. They're still alive. Yep. I really kind of had like a little flashback of the uh, Dragon Lords and the Gigans actually fighting. You guys watch their ch uh, form change again. 16 year old. <laughs> Slowly aging up, I guess. But they were a pain in the ass to deal with. Yep. So. It's easier with the dragons, but uh, we only got the babies. Well, we're gonna have to do the smart. Try not to, well, I guess mess around and yeah, just gotta do things smart. But I'm, I'm pretty confident in our group that we'll be able to achieve this goal. All right. Now, okay. A couple things. First off, you have encountered a single Gigan before. If you remember at the Mossy Temple, long, long ago, mm -hmm. you encountered the one. But your vision seemed to indicate there was, in fact, a lot more than just one. How many you're not yep. sure? Because the vision was hazy on that number. You think you saw maybe two or three in the vision. Obviously, there could have been a lot more. The scale is absolutely unclear. They may be giants. Indeed, there may be. Uh, the other thing, just as clarification, I believe this is the first time you're all going back to Mitros proper, or am I mistaken? No, this is the second time. Okay. Is, yeah. Yeah, because we had to pick up the lady. That's We're right. We're still on the boat. Okay, so I don't have to read the Constellation of the Bears thing. But she's still on the boat, though. Yep. I need to remove her from the boat. Where is she? There she is. Boop. There we go. <laughs> Even though she is now the ruler of the Isle of Themis, she has decided to come back with you for no reason. I should have asked Darius if she wanted to come along with us. Yeah, but. Unfortunately, you didn't, uh, put that up. Oh, what would be a good song to use for this encounter? I don't want to use this song because it's too upbeat for what you're about to head into. Uh... quite work. Give me just a moment here. I guess I could use... It's been a while since I've used them, but I could use one of the ghost ship themes I had. That could kind of work. It's not exactly the same situation, but I think that's the right atmosphere for what we're gunning for. Special events. Um, We'll do that one. All right, and let's click out of there. Maybe increase the volume a smidge. 
There we go. Okay. <clears throat> As you make your way toward Mitros, your ship sails into a patch of deep crimson water that stretches as far uh, on as far as the eye can see. Gory chunks of sea creatures as well as the occasional humanoid corpse float in the waves. Worse than the sight of the carnage is the pervasive stench of rotten flesh and the coppery tang of blood. Seventeen. You notice that a lot of these corpses in here, they're half eaten, as if whatever created this might be saving them, perhaps? And there's all sorts of different things. There's whales and sharks, dolphins, some merfolk. The occasional humanoid sailor seems to be mixed into this chaotic mess of blood and viscera. Tower stops and looks at Kaya. Do you know anything that can't eat a whale? What do I roll, Draco? I'd say nature check. Twelve. With a twelve, there's a lot of different sea creatures that could have come through and done something like this. There's sea dragons, but... Or, sorry, sea serpents, but the problem with sea serpents is they are pretty deep in the ocean. They will occasionally come to the surface, but they would take it down with them. They usually wouldn't leave this mass carnage here. This could be a lair of some creature. Maybe something that is using this area as a lair. So it could be something very big, very scary, obviously not like an animal. I can think of, I'm trying to think of one thing, but it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what, it, what the legend said about it. Yeah, we should probably get out of this as quickly as we can. I was the first thing to answer the exact same question. Alright, I'll uh, roll for her. Do, 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 do. Tokens. Let's see. Performance, perception, persuasion. I guess it would just be a flat int. Nah, unfortunately, I. I can't think of anything either myself. But, and as she says that, you notice the water's getting to a more shallow area, and something comes up from the depths. It's enormous, and it's something you've all seen before. A many-headed hydra. But this one has seven heads. And it looks... Hungry. You know, All right, here we go, guys. I think this would be a good place for us to end the session for tonight. Mm. Oh, boy. Next time you deal with the giant Hydra. Just Fuck. a quick note on this one, though. It looks bigger than your average one. The one you dealt with was significantly smaller than this, and I might change its size a little bit to mirror that. There we go. He looks very well fed. Hell yeah.
All right. So yeah, let's start going around the horn. Uh, Robin, how'd you like tonight's session? Yeah, doing pretty good. Yeah, that's all I can really say. Just feeling pretty good. Not, I'm not scared at all. <laughs> why would you be? It's just yeah, a seven-headed hydra. It's fun. You know, honestly, I thought it was going to be a kraken. I thought so, too. This would have been two times within a week I, I fought a kraken. Yikes. Ooh. They're as terrifying as you think they are. That's me. All right. Hell yeah. Oshi, how about you? Uh, doing good, too. Uh, you know, for the next two weeks, I'm in a certain location. Uh, I'm off the laptop at the moment. So, depending on once I finally get like a, like a work schedule for out here, I might be able to make it. And I might not be able to make it to the DD session. Uh, I should find out by Saturday, so I should I should let you be I should let you know by then. Well, before either Tuesday or next Thursday. All right, good to know. Uh, yelling. Uh, I like the session. It was very very uh interesting and uh. Alu did very Alu things again. <laughs> um, um, I'm trying to think of other things to talk about relating to the session. Um, R.I.P. Alu's ability to uh, act as, I guess, a matchmaker. I guess. Damn. If only you guys hadn't gotten rid of that boa cupidity. Sold it. Yep. <laughs> Who needs would love, love anyway? To use that. Yep, that's what Artavis would say. <laughs> what Good. is love? <laughs> Baby, like don't hurt me. Talking. Don't but, hurt me. <laughs> no more. But uh, where can they find you and what do you do? Yelling. Uh, I do art streams, and you can find me on Twitch. And on Inkblot, because that's where I post my art. Alright. And last, but certainly not least, Alec, what do you have going on? Hey, it's me. Um, fun sesh. Sorry, I was quiet. I've been sick for like a week, and I am somewhat not here. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> excuse dang. me mentally anyway um uh i'm finally streaming again my project at work finished so i'm actually back a normal somewhat schedule so i'm hoping to stream tomorrow uh solo stream i'm not sure what yet maybe dark souls or something but trying to do some collabs trying to do some co-op stuff with my girlfriend trying to do some more streams and big announcement i announced it on last stream but i am going to be dming my first campaign soon um, about a week from our kickoff session zero with uh, a bunch of folks we collab with so very nervous very excited my first ever uh, DM and uh, should be fun oh nice good luck thanks man <laughs> and of course you've already found me here I stream on Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Fridays Monday me and Delona are starting our Kanto venture in Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Metalock. We've already taken down Lieutenant Surge and we're moving on to Saffron to go beat Sabrina and whatever she actually has because the randomizer has shifted up all of her Pokemon. Who knows? Tuesdays, you can of course catch myself, Mila Ninja, Royal Hoshi, Hey Mr. Rabbit, Chocolate Zombie 101, and Deluna 13 as they go through the Revelia. Sadly, we weren't able to do last Tuesday because uh, Milla was unfortunately sick himself. But that just means you all get to see the amazing Dastardly Disco next time. I'm really excited for it. Looking forward to showing you all all of the wacky dancing adventures. Yeah. 
Oops, missed out on the E. There we go. <clears throat> Wednesdays, you can catch me here for more Link to the Past. I haven't really played it before, but uh, we just got the Master Sword. So we're going to go beat Agnum and beat the game already. That was really fast. I'm sure nothing will happen. And we'll just be able to beat Agnum with the Master Sword like that. No problem. Easy one, two, three. I can't see how anything could possibly go wrong from here. Nope, no, no n never. In a Zelda game? I mean, it does seem a little strange that there were only three dungeons in the entire game, but I'm sure it's nothing. Anyway, of course, Thursdays, you can see how Immortal Samachia, our friends here, will deal with the giant Hydra. Will they survive its seven-headed fury? Well, we'll have to find out. And the answer is no. <laughs> wow, that's optimistic. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> the answer may surprise you. <laughs> Look, just because it's got seven heads and it's bigger and might have more HP than the average Hydra, who, who can say, really, you got this. I'm sure you got this. So or no you... head? No, well, you're, many. You're, you're already got head. Many heads, in uh, fact. Yeah, Kaya gave you head. Yeah. Damn. And you can give this thing head. It's true. Potentially. And of course, <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. you can catch me and Deluna as we go through Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We're almost near the end. I just want to do some additional side stuff before we get the actual final boss done. You know, beat some memories of the former organization members that are already dead. Go through some tournament stuff. You know, the usual thing. But uh, with all that said and done, let us find someone to raid. Uh, we could raid Deluna, who is doing the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog right now. The what? Oh, yeah. Yes. It is a totally canon Sega game. I'm not even joking, it is technically canon, because if I remember correctly, didn't Sega at some point say all games they produce are canon? Yep. Including this one? Hell yeah. Love to see it. Right, so... I have more questions than I have answers for. Well, why don't we check out the stream and see if those answers are... or questions are answered. Yeah! I guess that's what we have to do! Indeed. 